Hey, Diana J. Brody here from Next Level Editing Academy, and we are doing another installment of Premiere vs. Avid. Today, Extend. Extend on Premiere. If you're not using it, I'm about to make your life 37% better. Here's how it goes. I believe that it's natively on the E key, but I know I for sure have mapped it there. If it's not on your keyboard, come over here to Keyboard Shortcuts. Go down to the Keyboard Shortcut Finder. Type in Extend. There it is, Extend to Playhead. It's mine's on the E key. You can map it there. I highly suggest E for Extend. You put it wherever you want, you do you. But here's how it works. Extend is slave to the Playhead in Premiere, right? So if my Playhead's here, and I want this cut point right there, if it's not already selected, select that cut point, right? If I want that point to start there instead of where it is here, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the incident point. I'm gonna put my playhead where I want it. I'm gonna hit E, it goes there. If I'm like, no, actually I wanted this clip to start here. Then I'll hit E, it will go wherever your playhead is. Oh, it's so much fun. I use Extend conservatively about a thousand times a day, but it works differently on Avid. Join me. In Avid, Extend works a little bit differently. Here's our playhead in Avid. Avid could care less where your playhead is during Extend. Doesn't matter whatsoever. It's slave to the in or the out. If you don't have Extend mapped on your keyboard in Avid, you're going to want to come up here to your settings in the file. Go to settings. Go down to user, uh, the user tab. Go to keyboard, double click on your keyboard, go to command three and call up the command palette. Right there. And you're gonna wanna map extend. You can search for extend right here, extend. Boom, here it is in trim because it's technically a trim function. You're gonna wanna put this as a button either on, your, on a button layer or on your keyboard uh, entirely. You're going to use it a lot. For me, I have Extend on E in Avid and E in Premiere. That way it doesn't matter what program I'm using, I know to go to the E key. But I put it right here just in case you want a visual. That's what Extend looks like as a button. So your Extend is slave to your in or your out, not to the playhead. So if I want this cut point right here to start here instead, I'm gonna put my in. Then I can move my playhead anywhere because the playhead doesn't matter. Then I'm gonna hit E, boom. This cut point is now where my end point was. If I wanted this cut point, if I undo that and I say, actually I want this cut point to start here. I put my out, I lift my in. You gotta get rid of the in. If you have an in and an out down, you've confused the avid and nothing sadder than a confused avid. Here's my out. I'm gonna move this cut point to this out again. My playhead, irrelevant. Hit E, boom, there it is right there at that cut point now. Uh, and you have done extend. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. And if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Feel free to check my link in the bio or the link underneath if you're watching this on YouTube.